I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos, and to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of, of flesh, flesh and bone. And you have a great monument here, Mantarok. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim thee, crawling chaos and damn beast. No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients you have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. Fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me. Well, well what a coincidence. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the story in this game is so cheesy. It's kind of what I expected. Um, I figure the sort of survival horror game that would be considered amazing for the time 16 years ago when this was released is probably different from what would be amazing today. I was expecting it to be cheesy, and it is, and I'm okay with that. Also, oh my god, it's like I'm wearing basically a battle bikini, sort of. It's definitely a very gamey game in all the bad ways you'd expect. I'm totally still enjoying it, though. I like a good cheesy horror game. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look what we have. We got the Tome. Uh, so the Tome of Eternal Darkness, where experienced spells and enchanted items can be stored for future use. It has been made from fragments of human skin and bone, and endowed with m magical powers. Spells and enchanted items can be stored for future use. I can get spells? Short sword. Short sword with a wooden grip, light and durable. The small curve running from the handle makes it better for hacking rather than stabbing. A statue of a goddess, delicately sculpted from sandstone. It casts an alert eye over everyone who enters the temple. There is a strange necklace about its neck. Should Elia take the necklace from the statue? Of course, nothing bad could happen. Acquire the strange necklace. Now demons are going to attack me, right? This necklace can be used to heal Elia. Make sure that Elia does not move when the spell is being cast. Oh. Now it's got a number 10 there, so I'm guessing that's how many uses I have left. Okay, well I'm already full on health. The 
The door is now closed, preventing Elias' passage to the other side. Firmly closed, sealing the temple. Perhaps there's another exit somewhere inside. Shouldn't have read that evil text in this evil temple. Ah, here we go. I wish the game wasn't so dark. It's very dark. Engraved on the floor is a striking design featuring the sun sinking below the edge of the world. Is that the same for all of them? I think so. Yeah, same description. The design on the wall appears to depict a time of the day. Perhaps the candles do, too. Hmm. I don't think I can do anything with it, though. Oh, I can't break pots for ammo or something? Or green herbs? Oh. Okay. So I can't turn it off, can I? Okay, this is a good time to save. <laughs> I wonder if it's instant death or if it just hurts you a lot. Oh, oh I can't save. Can I save back here? No, I still can't. Crap. Okay. Oh, wait. Does it reset and stop going? When I come back, it does. Can I walk around it? I can. Nice. It's going to be a lot more interesting to walk through here when all these things rise up. Ooh, this one's extra fleshy. Fresh one. When located by creatures, a sanity loss occurs, causing a decrease in the level of the sanity meter in the character to pulse green. Beware, sanity loss affects perception and eventually health. Yeah, I've heard this game has a sanity system. It's supposed to be really unique. The different like, sanity effects that can happen. Hmm. So how do I combat it, though? Just kill them fast, or just don't get located in the first place? Whoa, what? Tutorial? Uh, it's the sanity meter. The green one, okay. It'll get lower, the lower the sanity meter, more character will hallucinate. Okay. wonder what the hallucinations could be. Come on, you got no arms and no head. Die already. Performing a finishing move on a creature, recover sanity. Okay. Nice. Bronze necklace sits atop an ancient clay urn. Does that one also have an effect? Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't have a number. We're splendid with glowing gems. I can try to use it, I suppose. Can't use it. At least not now. The design on the wall appears to depict a time of the day. 
Perhaps the candles do too. Oh, now I can light or extinguish the candles. To light or extinguish them. Wait, Y, X, or A? Why is the Y button shaped differently? It must be, maybe a GameCube controller is a little bit more different than I thought. I do. I okay, so I partially opened a bunch of stuff. Appears to depict the middle stage of the day, the day of mankind. The image is now represented by the candles as well. Oh, I guess I did it right accidentally. I guess I just need the candles to represent the time of day be in the right spot. I just pressed a random button, honestly. Brightly burning sun, yep, so midday. So it's partially opened. Not enough for Elia to go over it. Uh, you totally could go over that. They're gonna wake up, aren't they? Yep, here we go. Oop, whoops. Finish him, not examine, finish him. So this one's already right. Yep. Okay, can I save? Still can't. Oh, that's what I needed to do. Put this necklace back on there to replace it. That makes some sense. So the bronze necklace replaced the strange necklace that I took. Already looks correct. <laughs> I see you, trap. Finish them already? That was quick. Okay. Uh, which one do I want on? The one on the left, right? So extinguish the right one? No. Complete darkness? I probably should have looked at what was in the center of the room, but it looks like that was right. Okay. So that's two ways open. This is complete darkness. Striking design featuring a starry sky filling the heavens. Yep. Eternal darkness. Wait, is this the way I came from? 
Or did they both lead to a trap-filled place? That... This is the new way, right? Ooh. Is that a blowgun? A small pedestal covered with decorative etchings stands before the wall. The blowgun upon it must have some special significance for it to be the focal point of this display. Let's take it. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Who the hell's that? How'd you get down here? Okay. Woo! I don't think this blowgun's very powerful. Whoa, what is that? Is that like a weakness? What's. Oh! That's how they die. Uh oh. I'm hallucinating. Nope, don't, don't do that. I'm just gonna keep shooting, I can't see it, but I see blue. Why are you all green? Is that the hallucination, or... Oh! Did I... Did I hit them with a blowgun or something, or were they poisoned? Shit. If I did that, I'm sorry. Looks like there's a limited amount of darts. Yeah, I've got 81 in the bottom right. So is the hallucination making my view all sideways? Also, what does this do? Ah. Just curious. Oh, now I can't undo it. Well, that was a mistake. It shattered. Didn't turn them all on, thankfully. Whew. That's pretty tight timing. Oh, I can't avoid this one. Oh. Woo! Christ. Oh my god. Uh, what? Just... Oh, the whole thing is a hallucination. Good. Uh, yeah, it looks like it poisons them and they turn green, so I, I did hit the person. So no finishing move, huh? Nope, I can't finish him. Oh no, I can. There we go. <laughs> finishing move with the blowgun? Alright. insignificant increase in, in sanity. I'll take it. Can't do anything with these things on the side? Nope. This mural depicts a skeletal demon befriending the ancient Khmer Khmer people by denouncing one of their fertility gods. That's cool that you get a chance to pan over it.
Well, gonna have to hit this one. Ah, arrows. Oh, shit. Oh, what did that do? Oh. oh! Christ, I can't even see what's going on with the blades! Run! Ugh. Ah! Please tell me this is not real again. No, I think that might actually be real. Shit. Run, run, run. Okay, hold on, hold on. Maybe... No, I have to stay- I have to stay still to use this healing necklace. I need to get further away. Whoa, it just- Oh, it was another vision. Okay. Whew. Oh, they're attacking each other. Whoa. Are they synergizing with each other? What's going on? Oh. Oh, that hurt me, didn't it? Give me a little bit of sanity. Uh, how am I doing on health? Not full, so let's heal. Mural depicts one of the ancient Kamar deities being tortured and killed by a skeletal demon. Well, you've been busy, Pius, Pius. Which way did I come in from? I think it was here, right? Yeah, I didn't go this way. Whoops. Oh. Thought this thing was killed by Pius. on flesh and bone, Matrock. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia to come. A slow and torturous fate for thee. You had best leave, young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. Do I have superpowers now? Doesn't look like it. A 
The metal staff is held by the arms of the statue. Look around. So I guess I wasn't killed so much as just reduced to nothing. Dead god, right? Reduced to feeding on flesh and bone to live. Large piece of this large piece of metal looks to be a lever of some kind. Oh. Whoops. Please don't try to eat me. A statue of a human female bears witness to the monstrosity that fills the room. The porous stone of its body is covered with the effluvial grime that Mantrock has secreted over the years. The door of formidable size seals the vault. A stylized design resembling the creature that dwells within the room is carved into the stone. nice little detail is your character tends to look at things of, of interest. Like if I'm facing this way, you can see their head is turning towards the uh, towards Mondorok. This looks like the same as the other side. Uh, yep. Okay, so what do I do with this lever? Like, I can't, surely I can't use it here. Oops. I didn't see anywhere to use it over here either. means well I don't know what it means can I just like shoot you nah doesn't even feel it Once again, not real, right? So they're gonna explode, so I just need to get away from them when they do that, right? Guess that one was real. That's back the way I came. Let's try not to step on anything this time if we can help it. Well, we can't help this one. Oh, Christ. Just looking at it scares me, apparently. Oh! Oh shit! Ooh, that really hurt. Okay. At least it doesn't insta-kill you. <laughs> Some tiny margins here. Oh, shit. Okay, we're good, we're good. Fuck. Whoa, did it just push me, but it didn't hurt me? Oh. It's just arrows, right? I'm just gonna run through them. Oh. Oh, no. The 
the switching targets thing's not really working there. Characters making weird noises, hallucinating. here. I picked up the broken sword. I didn't realize I could pick it up. What's the point? What is this? This can't be happening. The heck was that? Some sort of hallucination, but a weird one. It just said video in the top right and there was huffing and puffing. Shattered into many pieces, completely useless. Yeah, that's what I thought. So the only new capability I have is this metal staff, which I can use as a lever, but a lever for what? Oh, I just noticed this in this room here. This kind of hub room that leads to the two areas. Look at this thing on the... Uh, right here. Looks maybe like a lever could go there. Hole in the device, as though something can be inserted, perhaps a key or a lever. Yes. That's not the right way. How many exits are there out of this room? Just two? Oh, hmm. Oh my god! That's quite a vision. They're tiny! They're adorable! Look at them! This is my hallucination? These tiny cute little zombies? Hmm. That's way more hilarious than it is scary. So yeah, I think I need to go back this way. Come on, you can do it! Get through those! These I can't help but... Take my time. Okay. Here we go. Almost there. It's quite a while to restore your stamina. Fool! You should have run! Instead, you will die! Where is the essence of Mantarok? Again, child. Very well, then. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion.
you're right, the candles. The replacement seems to be very deliberate, not the same description as before. Oh, and now I can choose to extinguish some of them. Um, oh, I see above the picture. The sun's on the left, so I guess I extinguish the middle and the right one. So A and X. Ooh. With the correct sequence of candles being lit, a hidden panel opens. There is a message tube inside. An antique leather-bound message tube, the kind used to transport sealed message scrolls. It appears to be unopened. There might be something inside. Let's open it. Chapter Page. Suspicions of Conspiracy. Whoa. Thy presence is long missed, my liege. The universe is a yawning chasm filled with emptiness and the puerile meanderings of sentience. Why should you deserve special consideration within it, Augustus, above all else? I am your servant, my lord. As always, that and nothing more. Yes, that and nothing more. What revelations do you bring me? My meditations reveal a flaw in our plan. Our plan, Augustus? Mantarok is a shadow ebbing in the light of our glory. It and the others are slow, weak, bound by the realm of the universe. Unable to unite to fight a common foe, they will fall one by one. Unfortunately, this is beyond your understanding. The binding of Mantarok will seal their fate as its power over us is diminished. Such an irony that the Keeper itself be imprisoned within the walls of its own magic. But what of its essence? Is that not the core of its remaining power? Upon my seeping into the corporeal world, I will be the dominant over all, Mantarok included. Your worries are unfounded. You must turn your attention to Charlemagne the Frank. His continued presence within the world is far more serious to our cause. As you wish, Master. He will be dead before the week is out. After the chapter page is removed, the message tube is no longer needed. Alex discards it. I'm not sure why they showed me that little snippet just when I got the chapter. Does it have anything to do with that specifically, or does it just show you little snippets like that occasionally, giving you more of the backstory? Anyway, it was interesting. Um, the person, or the, I shouldn't say person, the entity that Pius was talking to looked like it was the blue thing that I chose at the end of their story when I played them. So I guess I chose that thing and it became their god. So Pius's god is the blue thing that I chose. It definitely has control over Pius. Pius was obviously subservient to it. Interesting. Alright. Well, I think I'll end this episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to check out the chapter page, Suspicions of Conspiracy.